how to prepare for IP Mat 2022? That is a question that we are going to discuss in this video, right? I am Indoor is the oldest among the IIMs which is offering an IP Mat program, which is integrated program and management, a five-year program which gives you a BBA and an MBA, right? Followed by I am Rotak. I am Rotak is a second program in IPM offered by IIMs in our country. Then we also have I am Ranchi and Bodh Gaya and Jammu offering IP Mat. Right? About five colleges offering for IP Mat is a fantastic uh, opportunity because you don't have to do an engineering and then write CAT multiple times and wait and get into a B school. Right? You can straight away walk into a B school, do a BBA followed by an MBA and get out as a finished article, as a B school product. Right? So it's a fantastic opportunity, especially if your eyes are already set on, I don't want engineering, I want to do management in the long run. If that is the case, then this is the opportunity you should be grabbing. And so if you are preparing for IPMAT 2022, very likely you are someone who's uh, uh, entering your plus two or your final year of higher secondary this year. Right? So there are some things you can do to make your preparation very meaningful. And so there are three parts to this. One is uh, quant, the other is math. And then there is the third, not so really important part, which is data interpretation and logical reasoning. Right? Let us discuss in detail. Right? Your math starts with arithmetic. So arithmetic is percentages, profit and loss, ratio proportions, linear quadratic equations, uh, time speed distance, pipe system, all of these topics and then some more put together, APGP, uh, arithmetic progression, geometric progression, SICI, simple interest, compound interest, all of these ideas put together. Right? It is called arithmetic. Yeah, your arithmetic basics, make sure you can answer most of the questions. You understand percentages, you understand proportions, even tougher questions, different questions you can, you can answer if your arithmetic base is set. Right? Followed by geometry. Geometry is a very important topic. Right? It is tested across the board. You will have to have a good basics in this. It followed by algebra. So your uh, logarithms, exponents, inequalities, functions, even set theory for that matter. All of these put together, you will have to be really comfortable. Followed by number theory and permutation probability or permutation and combination. Right? Uh, again, the difficulty level varies between exams. We have enough handle on indoor and Rotec. The other exams, we don't have enough handle on because it's the first year the exams are going to happen. Right. So, indoor paper is tough in terms of the level of quality of questions that has been given, but it is tough for everybody. So, you don't have to really worry about it. All you have to do is prepare well. Right. In indoor paper, the, the level of importance is like I mentioned, arithmetic, geometry, algebra, and then number theory and permutation probability. In Roth, the, the level of difficulty is slightly simpler than indoor, but there is more number of questions from permutation probability and number theory in addition to the other ideas. Right. One important thing that I missed out so far is something called as matrices and indices. It is being tested in IM indoor. It is not tested anywhere else so far. Right. Again, you have plus one, plus two, differentiation, integration, none of that is being tested. So if you have not taken math in your plus one, plus two, uh, you can completely not worry about this and prepare well because the math syllabus is high school math or your 10th standard math at tops. Right. Maybe except for the exception of matrices and indices, the, that one topic. So this is how you go about preparing for your quant section. Then comes the verbal section. Right? This exam tests a lot of small ideas like meanings, opposites, um, sentence rearrangement, picking the odd sentence out, sentence correction, all of that. Right? Pick up a course. It helps to have a course where there is a structure and you can prepare with lots of examples and tests put together. Uh, we at 2IM offer a fabulous course for IPM 2022. So you should check it out. Like the link will be available in the description, somewhere in the iCard, somewhere. The link will be available. Or you can type in ipm.2iim.com. ipm.2iim.com. Right? You will get to the course. Right? Check out the course. You can try the course and then see where it takes you. Right? I know I took a mild detour because I want to tell you that the verbal section has many moving parts and it is not really simple to tell you hey only read and then everything will get better that is applicable for cat but unfortunately not applicable for ip mat so you have to build a reading habit over the year so that you are able to answer reading comprehension questions and tougher ideas but you should also be practicing lot of other ideas like uh, fill in the blanks meanings opposites and uh, para summary para jumbles all of these so having a course usually helps in this you should also be reading a lot. What do you mean by reading a lot? Follow Bharat's reading list. Google for Bharat's reading list. You will, you will get 
like about 800 900 articles in a repository read at least two articles a day keep reading right if you follow us subscribe us on youtube you will get a notification on youtube whenever we we post that so we post our articles daily on youtube as well and the community section so it will be available there as well so read at least two articles a day maybe in this year long time that you have maybe try and complete five to six novels i know it is a tough ask for a plus 2 student but this exam your scores can get so much better if your verbal ability is better especially that given if you check out the rta from the previous years the especially for im indoors paper the verbal section is a scoring section what do you mean by that you are cut off for where you are going into or if you are entering the next round of selection the cut off for the verbal section is much higher than the cut off for the math section across the two sections which means you will be you will have to be a natural at verbal or you got to be a master at learning and getting there if you are not not a natural get right so read a lot it helps right read articles read books check out the link in the description we have a fabulous video where we discuss all the books that you can read so check out that as well and read articles on a daily basis it really helps you'll spend at least like half an hour on this this half an hour is worth definitely worth not just for the cip mat exam but for you as a person as well so definitely do that the following section is uh, da and lr data interpretation and logical reasoning in i am indoors paper there is one da set so five questions likely so you'll get a one puzzle and five questions followed by that puzzle that is da data interpretation and wh wh what do you get in data interpretation you'll get some table you'll get some graph you'll get some pie chart you'll have to understand the data and answer the questions right so this is for i am indoor only one set of five questions in data interpretation the next part is logical reasoning logical reasoning appears in i am rothax paper but the level of difficulty is much 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 simpler than the other section check out the question paper right check out the link in description you will find the link for i am rothax Uh, actual question paper check out the logical reasoning section it is 40 minutes but the questions are very simple if you can apply your mind you can answer them it is series question sequence question blood relation question many different types of small small questions but the questions are not complicated try out the paper and see where you stand so you should be prepared looking to spend a lot of time before december so that post december you will have some lull period where you focus on your board exams and then the moment your board exam gets over you can focus refocus on the ipm preparation so this six months is the marathon for you for your ipm preparation if you are serious about it and then two month three month break where you really focus on your final exams your board exams and then refocus and take a month out and usually your there is a, a month month and a half gap between your board exams and your ipm exams so so use that month to aggressively prepare again so so if you are thinking about a course check out to i am cpm course it is available you can sample lots of parts from the course before actually paying and signing up for the course right do try that if you are keen about getting into a b school especially an i am early on getting into it is much simpler than taking the cat and do going for this so best wishes for your ipm preparation